All right, this is the beginning. Trying to restore this old truck. It looks good from afar, but it's far from good. We got a uh, broken windshield. We got moss growing in the cracks. Spider webs. Actually, this is clean because a couple days ago it was even worse. Uh, the front body is pretty clean, except for that old dent that's been there forever. And a couple little issues with the, the roof up there. We'll do the paint later. The bed is a different story. You can see a lot of damage in there with rust. That's the, that's the good side. A uh, little repair job here. Plastic water. I'll get that out. Inside. I'll get that open. I have a gate latch to hold the latch shut. Completely rusted out bed, holes everywhere, uh, boards here to keep things from falling through. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. So all the bed comes off. Uh, still like my bumper kit. It's a little rusty. Got uh, mounts for jerry can racks there. But uh, of course this has had it flaking off. This is the bad side. Big holes through the gates. Rust, 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 rust. Gas can, hey, yeah, gas cab looks good. Uh, it's shot, but somehow you kind of get to the cab and it's fine. Well, not fine, but not bad for a 30 year old truck. So, we got some issues up there on the roof, right there. Pretty minor. You can take care of those. And I like my front bumper system still. I built that years ago. I'm gonna keep that and modify it a little bit. But uh, actually, just clean the engine, so all better there. You can actually see it. It was pretty greasy and full of cobwebs. Here's the uh, the interior. The seats I tore out of a Rav four years ago, uh, probably 13 years ago now. Put some cheap carpet in there. Uh, at the time, that's what I had the finances to do. Worked for the period, but uh, probably pull all that out, go with a better kit. Uh, overall, the, the plastic of the dash survived. The actual rubber of the dash, 30 years old. The original stuff, split in the sun. It's not bad though. Uh, good news is the OD, which is realistic, as far as the 20 years I've owned this thing. 224,000 miles on a 30 year old vehicle is pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. I haven't driven it much in the last five years. Uh, a little rip in the headliner, but I don't know if that's a big deal. So it's not bad. A few parts in the interior I want to do. And the engine's got 85,000 miles on it, a remanufactured ATK, I think. And the transmission's got about 35,000 miles on it, and the chassis 225. So overall, for a '86 Toyota four-wheel drive pickup truck, that's a really young car. All right, here's a part. I had a add a leaf spring in here, the originals, and that squeaked a lot. The it shifted a bit and it's just kind of rusty and old. It's uh, probably an Adelie from 15 years ago. So that's coming out. Old man emus are going in. Brakes aren't terrible, but I'm gonna turn the drums and new shoes and rebuild the cylinders. And same to the other side and of course new shocks and fix all that rust. All right, here's the bed, cut away. There's bolts here, there's bolts here, there's two more back there. This panel I cut out, not to make it clear, but just to be able to get to the bolts. They're really badly rusted. Shell's gone, tail lights out and saved, license plate of course off. Ripped down, same thing on the other side. These bolts 
right in here next to the fuel filter trickiest disconnect the pipe and find a nice sized lemon to stuff in there you know so crap doesn't fall down in there no pun intended on the lemon put some boards in place protect it Is that it?